Hello, my name is Leland Melvin. I'm an astronaut and a STEAM explorer, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. As they sit in the vehicle, you know, they're, I'm sure they're taking their notes and thinking about, you know, what's about to take place. And 20 seconds before the launch, these, these engines light and you get all this force driving down to the, to the ground, but they're still sitting there. They're locked in, they're waiting to go, and there are many checks and things that are being done. Then after that 20 second period, the, the, the vehicle gets unbolted basically and hurls off to the cosmos. And it's one of the most incredible things. They're starting to feel the gene build up on their body. They, um, you know, they're they're on their back, so the the vector for the G's goes through the chest. So as you go through the different staging, you have the you know the first stage, this four rockets that actually you know, they, they burn up after a while and they fall back to the earth. And you have a second stage, and after each stage, you're you're shedding weight, and the vehicle is accelerating even faster. So they're going to start start to labor to breathe a little bit. Have to kind of maybe take ex you know exaggerated breaths as they're going up, and you know they're they're moving faster and faster, trying to get to 17,500 miles per hour so they can start going around the planet. They're also you start to build up, and as I said, G's. And over this you know I'd say eight and a half to nine minute period, they're going to go faster and faster. And there's a little, I know on Sonny Williams, one of my classmates who flew on the Soyuz, they had a little doll sitting there um, to kind of let them know when the G's were off. You can actually feel it, but once that doll starts floating around, visually you can see that you're now in space.